All right, today is Military Spouse Appreciation Day. It is. I know this because kind of a big deal in Heaven's military. And uh, <clears throat> I was in the scripture this morning. For since the beginning of the world, men have not heard nor perceived by the ear, neither hath the eye seen, O God, beside thee, what he hath prepared for him that waiteth for him. So that we also read yesterday, and that will always be the truth. So surprises are coming. And then I was uh, <clears throat> speaking to myself through my angels at my workplace. It's important that you're able to see and hear in the spirit in both of you. That way, one of you is not the only one hearing from me. So your progressive steps, and this is not progressive Christianity. This is a simple answer to everyone that says, I don't want to marry a Christian. You guys are no fun. And then Christians saying, we're going to heaven and we have God and we are perfectly fine with But truthfully, you guys look more fun sometimes, but we're not allowed to do certain things. So then we have an automatic barrier towards, there is one true God, the Lord Jesus. <clears throat> Because the world says, yeah, I know Jesus loves me. Is that all you got? Can you do anything else? Like what makes you so much the authority on Jesus? And then Christians, I truthfully haven't heard from him in a long time and I have something else to do. So <clears throat> establishing the ancient ways is what we decided a long time ago. And many of you aren't looking at it from my perspective a lot of times. And this is what causes you fear. We looked at it as, okay, when you are king, and I am king, I am king, I am king, I will always be king. Someone saying, he's such a great king. Oh, there's going to be more of you thinking that. <clears throat> so my angels were telling me, remember, slow down. So we're just cruising. We're honeymooning. But when you have a prince and a princess, you say, okay. <clears throat> We will arrange this marriage, but it has to be a prince, it has to be a princess, meaning they have to have my Holy Spirit and they have to be my kids. And we will expand my kingdom through this union. So what I've been teaching many of you is you're going to be much bigger than YouTube famous. You're going to be seen as you are seen in the third heaven. And the fact that you have uh, your home and you're inside me, so you're in the Father, the source of everything good, Light, love, patience, gentleness, long-suffering, 
self-control. All of the fruits of the spirit, <clears throat> you're going to be enveloped in that. Even just the text message or email between you two, you're going to sense light in each other. It's going to make your day so much better. And I've waited a long time to bring this moment together for you. So one, you're going to glorify me, the Lord Jesus, who is me, who is me, who is me. through your union, but you're also going to have the love of God shown to you. And that's been the biggest thing. So those moments of your spouse just making your day better, being there for you. For those of you that fear, like Mei Mei, I'm not putting you on Front Street, babe. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I want to give out my contact information too quick and all of this. Take my baby steps. One way to do it is like you have been doing it. That's one way. My way is you simply stop, pray, ask me up here what to do. So you're already mentally preparing yourself. Many of you, it would be the same as you went to your parents in the world and they just looked at you and said, you're not ready for marriage, but you did it anyway. In my kingdom marriages, you prayed for a spouse. And I took the time crafting and teaching them specifically how to love you. Where you are at. And because they love you, they are willing to lay down their lives for you. They are willing to submit to you. Because they first submitted to me. So... <clears throat> The logical way of looking at your marriages would, of course, be right. But <clears throat> here's what I've got going on. Here's what I want to do. Here's what I want to do. Here's what I want to do. Whereas my kingdom marriages are focused on... This is the day that the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. What do you want us to do? So cruising, this is your honeymoon. This is simply routine cruising. Same thing you do every day. <clears throat> you have your six months to pray, figure things out. And in this time, you guys will find your rhythm. I guarantee it. Now me, May May had told me, well, I want it authentic. I want the authentic Jesus. If you're really Jesus, go get me a tortilla from across the border. I said, if I'm really Jesus, I'm gonna have it delivered to me, laid at my feet, so ha. <clears throat> And what you see in that taco video is being the son of man, how I learned many things. Someone just telling me, this is what you do. Okay, then I would do it. That has yielded many interesting results. So <clears throat> helping you get to know me because we were, um, and by me, me up here, who is me up here, who is still me, my comforter, my teacher, my God, always my God, always my God. Jesus, the Lord Jesus, me. <clears throat> and we were 
um, displaying through these videos the Godhead and how we do things meticulously. How we want it to be seen as loving, playful, but feared and respected as a good father. Your heavenly father. So we're happy with how this is going. I am playful. And I did say, babe, that I was going to invite you to dinner. I said that through one of my angels. So we are right on course. My spouses, I want you to perform loving gestures for your spouse. That video was me just being obedient. So I'm walking with my prophets, teaching them how to be ready to minister in public, not only behind the camera. Because like I said, you're getting trained for your celebrity. Celebrity, celebrity. Appearances where you go. You'll have to get used to getting recognized sometimes, but you're going to be in a bubble of light protected, loved, and me continuing to point things out for you. I will continue to flood your spouse through other people with messages of your appreciation, understanding, 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 and love for them where they cannot go anywhere but I feel like I'm in this spiritual realm sometimes and I can't go anywhere, but I'm slightly okay with it. And well, you were taken into the air with me. You gotta remember that. So <clears throat> I got my little check, so I'm gonna use that and we'll be teaching finances because I did say I was going to teach you guys about money. So we'll see how that goes. My big check, I told myself I needed a new wardrobe, so I'll do that. <clears throat> At this point, I want you guys focused on your spouse. So I'll keep that up. Um, No man also soweth a piece of new cloth on an old garment. Else the new piece that filled it up taketh away from the old, and the rent is made worse. And no man putteth new wine into old bottles. Else the new wine doth burst the bottles, and the wine is spilled, and the bottles will be marred. But new wine must be put into new bottles. And I've been confirming that my Church of Christ, same thing, new wine can't be put into old wineskins, meaning the old system is not going to work. So this is how godly marriages will be brought together. <clears throat> I'm thinking years down the road where who says English is going to be a language? It might be looked at. What language was that? And then arguments are ensuing all over again. So I think the same way about your marriage. Babe, I got you your Birmingham. It's in the perfect location. You understand why now. We got the pieces of paper we need. For my um, constant habit and who I am, being directed by the Holy Spirit step by step. Let's see. At this also my heart trembleth and is moved out of his place. So she's scared. Hear attentively the noise of his voice and the sound that goeth out of his mouth. Hear attentively the noise of his voice and the sound that goeth out of his mouth. 
Hear attentively the noise of his voice and the sound that goeth out of his mouth. Well, me and my wife, we were the pioneers, 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 Ben, <clears throat> of kingdom marriages. So we have a lot of, um, I want to do this better for you, Ben. And we have a lot of uh, I took kingdom marriage and I said, babe, get in here. And my wife at that time was under a lot of duress spiritually. So keeping her, keeping you, babe, keeping you, keeping you. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. Make his face shine upon you. Be gracious to you and bring you peace it was always my plan and my answer to the spiritual war that was going on so you guys need to be cognizant that there was a war going on and that pushed you towards me and trained you as well for your marriages so we've confirmed where two or more are gathered i'll be in your midst and we have confirmed that you are kings and queens now. That you are proper ambassadors for the kingdom of heaven. That your focus is where it needs to be and you are ready for marriage. And no one will ever be able to tell you this is how marriage is. That adventure, I would never, never, never steal from you. So appreciate your military spouse. <clears throat> Good, Peter is re-engaged. But Peter continued knocking, and when they had opened the door and saw him, they were astonished. But he beckoning unto them with the hand to hold their peace, like his dad does, declared unto them how the Lord had brought him out of the prison. And he said, go show these things unto James and to the brethren. And he departed and went into another place, into another place, into another place. So they being sent forth by the Holy Ghost, by the Holy Ghost, by the Holy Ghost, this is the Spirit of God, the Spirit of Truth, Holy, 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 Perfect. <clears throat> That's it. Appreciate your spouse in your own style. <clears throat> when there's two of you and you're agreeing on what you're doing, you'll be surprised on the lack of confinement that I have for marriage. It's more important to me that you're happy, that you're feeling close to me, I get to be close to you, and that you do not separate. That's the only rule that I really am gonna come down on because again, you start being more susceptible to distancing yourself. You're gonna put sin between us because you're leaving yourself open to break very, very serious commandments. 
The Ten Commandments I will always take very, very seriously. So as close as we can get to the ancient ways is what I have done. <clears throat> and in your display of love for each other, and you working together, you're removing any desire outside of my plan for your happiness. Remember, I always have a plan for your day. I always have a plan for your life. You hear people say, God has a plan for you. There's always a plan. And you know whether you're in that plan or not. So I encourage you, stay in the plan, stay in the plan, stay in the plan. Understanding <clears throat> that there will be times in your life and your marriages will teach you this and have taught you this. For those of you that have been married to your king and spouse as far as living and dwelling together, as scripture states it should be, to leave mother and father cleave together as one flesh. You are already one flesh, but there will be situations as I'm taking you higher and higher, not now, because you're honeymooning, where you will both need to be able to stop and say, this seems insurmountable as far as what the Lord wants me to do but that's how he gets his glory. That is important to me to glorify my heavenly father. We got to stop and take this step by step. And then you'll see how much easier it is when you're letting me do most of the work, when you're not doing things in your own strength. 14. That's a lot of I love you's. I love you, 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 I love you. No eye has seen, no ear has heard, is here. I'm excited to be able to announce that. Enjoy your military spouse appreciation day with no fear. And just because I love you.